is the 4th of July and it is marathon day the exciting day all the way around except for my doggies I'm worried about my dogs anyways I'm going to go to the marathon today um, I just took my shower I have to hurry up and get ready so I'm gonna have to get off here I am very nervous I am very very nervous it, I'm excited nervous but I'm nervous I'm gonna put minimal makeup I think it's minimal but I have to hurry up because I got to get out of here by 545 and it is around 5 o'clock. So I still want to just dry my hair and pin it up. Nothing special. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm going to be okay. Mom's coming with me and as of right now, two of my kids are coming. But we'll see if they get up. Okay, I will see you in a little bit. Daughter is asleep and my son is playing. Um, I got my nails done. I wish I would have had time, or I did have time, I just didn't do it. Bought some stickers, like, for, like, make a, like, stars or something on there. It's pretty ugly. I'm going to turn you around right now, see? Like, it is, like, really, really foggy. We're at the Cajon Pass right now. And, uh, yeah. I'll put some makeup on. This look, this is a bruise right here, by the way. This is a bruise. Um, anyways, I did my eyes in a red. I tried to do like, I had a, the Tartlet palette, I think it is. And it had a really nice red in it, and that's what I put on. I wish I could have done like some star, <laughs> like, a, like a really nice star. And I put a lot of, uh, I did put a lot of highlighter like to like, you know, shiny. I also am gonna start drinking my electrolyte powder here, my electrolytes. This is the one I, oh, this is the one I take. Really good stuff. And that's it, I had a coffee so that I can down my vitamins. Otherwise, I can't just take vitamins with water, especially one of them really make me wanna gag. I don't know if it's the superfood, the, like the cruciferous vegetable one. I'm not sure which one it is. But I want to throw up. So, but when I drink it with a little bit of caffeine or carbonated water, coffee, I'm fine. All right, guys, I'm gonna go. Um, I'll meet you. She's saying bye bye. <laughs> I'll meet you guys down there at the track. I don't know how we're gonna vlog. I'll give mom the camera. Hopefully, you know, she she'll, she'll hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, or my kids, my mom, you know, they could take turns and hopefully get something for you I don't know it may be too chaotic I don't know I'm at Del Taco. I'm just down the street from Anaheim Stadium and there is a couple people there um, but I didn't see like a big crowd yet which is good because I still have to go pick up my shirt and my bib and everything. I forgot two things. One, my driver's license. I am praying to God that I don't need my driver's license. If I do, my oldest is home at the house and he can Aaron and he can take hopefully a picture of my license and then I can show them that it is it is me <laughs> uh, but I did bring all of my paperwork so that's good the other thing that I forgot is my <laughs> unbelievable I hunted high and low and I finally ordered this online and I got the perfect one 
but I forgot my belt that goes around for my phone. And I do want to take my phone with me because when it's over, I want to be able to call my mom and see where they're at and everything. And, you know, otherwise I'm going to just be looking, looking, looking. I brought the tank top. I brought this here. Um, and my thinking is that once I get my shirt, I'll put it over. Um, but if I don't, I have another shirt in my backpack. And if all else fails, this is a workout top and it matches with my, my, uh, oh, you can't see, but I have my red, white, and blue leggings. And I got my bandana. I'm excited. I'm not as nervous. I'm not as nervous. I'm, I'm just re really, really excited. I'm excited to be doing this and, um, yeah, I am. I'm excited. I, ha I haven't drank any of my Pedialyte or Pedia Pedialyte. I haven't drank any of my electrolytes because I had to go pee so badly the whole time here. And I just thought, oh my God, <laughs> I don't need to add more liquids to my, to my bladder. Um, and now I kind of don't want to drink it because what if, what if I have to go pee? So I'll drink a little bit of it before the race. Okay, guys, I will see you out there as um, soon as they're ordering um, some food right now just to, for them, for my kids. Mom's ordering um, some food so so my kids could have something. Disneyland is where? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for coming, sweetie. All right, guys, I'll be back. shirt got my shirt got my bib now I gotta get my family to come over here and then I'll show you the rest or have a 4th of July celebrations and everything over there so I don't know where I left my family parked up Exercised, feeling really nervous here with my girl feeling very nervous I just we did some workout warm-ups oh she she's got the vlog camera <laughs> show the vlog camera girl she's ready get me at the start at the finish and there's my guy right there <laughs> oh he brought his blanket <laughs> it's all good <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> brought his blanket. <laughs> it's all good. Ooh. Feeling kind of nervous. Really nervous. I don't know why. I guess because I feel like I need to, have to run it. I don't know. <laughs> have a great time. We're at the station at the one mile and the two mile.
446 I did it I just glad I did it I ran and you know what I'm happy about I wasn't the last one Woo -hoo! all right guys I need to like my feet want to keep going it was good I think the 10 kers are uh, the 10 kers are next but I got my first medal you know what's awesome is the first medal on the 4th of July they give it to you if you finish, you get a medal. Yeah. There were some people that were like uh, stumped over, like. <laughs> yeah. And there was a lot of like uh, medics in different areas. Yeah, I, I did pretty good. I think I did better than what I thought, to be honest. I did better. So, a memorable day for me. Absolutely. Right, guys? memorable yes. all right guys see you see you in a bit all right guys so we're back at del taco i did pretty good you know if i had to go a little bit more i could have but i thought it was I, I don't know what i was thinking i actually did it in 44 minutes three point the 5k in 44 minutes i think that's pretty good you know i think that's really really good love my shirt I'm just so proud of myself. I can't even describe the emotion like crossing the finish line. Like I really, really, really wanted to cry. Like when I slapped my son, um, there's a point where I, I gave him a high five. I don't know if my family recorded it. You'll probably see it here if it was recorded. But when I, when I high fived him and I saw my son, I wanted to cry. Like when I saw him there, I really, really wanted to cry just, just out of, um, I felt like he was proud of me and my, my mom too, my, my daughter too, but I only had seen him at the moment, you know, and uh, he gave me the first high five and I just, I really wanted to cry. I seriously did. All right, guys, that's it for me right now. And uh, yeah, I just want to savor the moment right now. Oh, really quickly before I let you go, I do want to let you guys know that in previous vlogs, I had told you I couldn't catch my breath. I couldn't really, really breathe. Um, I don't know if it's because where I live I live in the high desert and it is extremely dry um, but here down here where I'm at we have like the marine layer it's pretty close we're really close to the beach not very 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 far um, but there's a lot of humidity in their air there's a lot of moisture and I just felt like I was able to breathe better I felt like I could take a full uh, you know, through and breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth, and I felt like I could really take in the air, and it made such a huge difference from where I jog at home. It really made a huge difference, and I, I do think it's the air where I live. It's just, it's really, really dry, and so yeah, it made a huge difference. 
anyways, that's it. 12 o'clock. It is noon time. I've already eaten. And really quickly, let me just tell you that we had a big earthquake um, just a little bit ago. We had an earthquake. It was a 6.6 .6 earthquake, which was insane. It's crazy. Um, I guess earlier around 10, there was one around 4 point something. And then the 6.6 .6 went right almost when we got walked into the door. And um, it, it was scary. Um, my kids had already made it upstairs. And my oldest is here, and Aaron. And um, they felt it the worst because they were upstairs. And mom went out to the front yard and the neighbor came out and just, it was, it was chaotic. It was chaotic. Um, but it soon, soon died down. Anyways, I want to close out my blog with some feelings and some, just to share how I feel today on this amazing 4th of July. It's going to be forever a memorable 4th of July for me, for sure. This 2019 one. This year, this summer, and especially has really been a lot of gains. Um, it's just an amazing an amazing accomplishment for me. You know, it's like it's like kicking hormones in the mm, <laughs> where it counts. Um, it's like shifting in hormones, shifting in all of that. And you know, guys, seriously, if I could just I know some of you out there watching this video know what I'm talking about in terms of the chronic fatigue, the living in your bed because you just don't have really truly the energy. You have everything in here that you want to do, everything that you want to accomplish in life. Everything's here. And that just the big dreams like a marathon uh, or going back to school. I'm talking even the littlest task, maybe organizing your room or reading a book or whatever it is, you know. It's, it's hard to do when you have chronic, chronic fatigue. And the fact that I am where I am today is just mind blowing to me. I feel so amazing. I feel so, so incredibly amazing. Um, and this today was just the icing on the cake. And it was, it was an amazing accomplishment, but it was more than that. You know, it was just, it was just that whole, I'm living life. Finally, I'm living life. Finally to accomplish anything like this was not even in the horizons last year as it is this year. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go for today. Um, because we are just going to be celebrating, um, as soon as my, um, Aiden gets home from work. He had to work today until 2. Um, and yeah, we'll do a little celebration. I've been up since 4 or so, so I'm going to go ahead and just post a couple things on Instagram. See if everybody's okay in my state or, you know, with something like this, 6.6 .6 magnitude. Um, um, it, it, you know, unfortunately, severe injuries happen or even death sometimes, so... Just I hope all the casualties and all the the um, injuries are minimal. I really, really do. I, I don't know as of right now talking to you. I don't know. Um, but I want to catch up on that and see. Okay, guys. So I will leave it here. I want to thank you for taking this important journey with me. This was a huge, huge accomplishment. Um, and it's just going to get better. It's just going to get better. Like I said, I have other marathons already in the line, lined up, and um, I just hope to beat my time, continue training. I'm starting to feel really, really amazing every day to day, day to day. I am able to get up and have some energy. Not every day has been great, but I would say the majority of the time I feel just absolutely amazing. Okay, my friends, I'll let you go now for reals. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, I will see you guys a very, a very, 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 very soon. Might be out on that track again to keep on training, you know. Maybe one day I'll be able to fully run my 5K. Yeah, but for right now, I'm, kick, I'm kicking hormones in the butt. Yeah, yeah, I really am. Basically, what it looks like is happening, I, my hormones are 
balancing out and regulating <laughs> so they're getting in check <laughs> i'm putting them in check all right my friends i will talk to you very very soon thank you so much again i i'm on a i'm on a high and i actually have a hot flash right now i don't know if you can see my eyes my ears getting a little red oh i'm gonna get a little flushed i got hot flash right now these types of hot flash i can handle the oh see Let's end it on that note, why don't we? After I said I'm gonna kick its butt, it got me right here at the end, huh? <laughs> but no, these I can handle. These, I'm a little flushed right now, but I can handle these. It's the other ones where I'm just with panic and anxiety. Those are the bad ones. Okay, my friends, I'll let you go. Thank you so much, and I will see you real soon. All right, bye.